there you are, once again. And who am I? I am the Prince of Positivity, and welcome to my channel. Wit, witticisms, and wisdom is the promise that I gave you. And wit, witticisms, and wisdom are what you will receive. Did you know that stories transport us to another time while teaching us profound lessons about life? Now, for this post, I've decided to share several stories with you. These are stories that will make us think or make us smile. Some of them make us laugh out loud. But then again, it depends on how much it takes to tickle your fancy. Now, I'm not Mark Twain, but like Mark Twain, most of us love a good story, whether it's long or short. We love funny stories and jokes because they lift our spirits and often give us something to think about. Stories can bring many people together or give them a voice to help express their joy or their concerns because they leave us with a visual memory. Stories are a great way to build connections and often friendships with other people. Stories are a great way to teach lessons. So I'd like to teach you about Joe. There once was a farmer whose wife had died and left him with three beautiful teenage daughters. Every weekend, when they went out on dates, the farmer would stand at the door with his shotgun, making it clear to their dates he wanted no trouble from them. Another Saturday night came around, and about 7 p.m. there was a knock on the door. The farmer answered the door, and a young man said, Hi, my name is Joe. I'm here for Flo. I'm taking her to the show. Is she ready to go? The farmer thought, he's a clever boy, and wished them a good time. A few minutes later, another knock was heard. A second boy appeared and said, Hi, I'm Eddie. I'm here for Betty. I'm taking her for spaghetti. I hope she's ready. The farmer thought that he must know Joe and bade them off as well with his good wishes. A few minutes after that, a third knock was heard. Hi, I'm Chuck. The farmer shot him. <laughs> and that's our word for today. I'm the Prince of Positivity, and just like Chuck, I'm out.